What's up guys? I have made it to my hotel. It is different. It's a historic hotel, so I've been unpacking a little bit. Pretty small room. Got my black sheets. My That's my backstage blanket, but I might use it tonight if I need to. Um, yeah, I checked it out though. Kind of walked around and checked things out and there's like this super actually pretty decent like everything's really old but the fitness center is actually pretty decent and got some really cool places where I could practice my posing um and probably even get ready on Saturday morning so I'm super excited about that just because like the bathroom in my room is super tiny um but I'm about to shower and probably start my tanning process so I'll try and share a little bit of that with you guys and then I'm just gonna relax and get some rest tomorrow's a full rest day I don't have anything to do except for check-in with coach in the morning and check-ins for athletes at four o'clock. So yeah, I wanna keep you guys posted. I'm getting so excited. Checking out the hotel gym and I think I found where I might have to do my check-ins and practice some posing. Okay, but honestly, I might just have to come down here to get ready, like what? What is up you guys? It is Thursday night. I made it to my hotel. I showered, washed my hair. Oh my god, the lighting in here is terrible. <laughs> washed and dried my hair. Um, and I am about to get ready to do my tan. So I was just going to show y'all a couple of like essentials and steps um, for going through the tanning process. So ever since my very first competition, I have always used Pro Tan and done my own tan. I have never used like the vendor or whatever at the competitions. Um, I prefer to be on my own time and do my own tan. So I'm gonna kind of give y'all some tips and tricks about that. All right, for show day weekend, as you can see, I have brought black sheets and covered the bed because you do not want to get hotel charges for getting your tan all over their white sheets and towels. So bring your own um either just they don't have to be black but you know old sheets and towels that you don't care if they get stained um and make sure you have those that's my backstage blanket over there and then also make sure these are black again it doesn't have to be black but just like loose fitting black clothing those are some old pajamas i have um just to have after you do your tan so first things first i don't have the real bottle with me um but this is by Protan. It's called Get Buffed. It is their exfoliating scrub. And this process starts like a couple weeks before your show. So at least two weeks before your show, every couple of days, start um, using an exfoliant. And then like the week before show, almost every day, uh, moisturizing and exfoliating so that your skin is flawless before you put your tan on. Um, and then I always have gloves with me. Tanning applicators. I use both the little round cushion ones and then since I do my own tan and I never have anyone with me I also use this. I actually I'll try and show y'all later but I put um, one of these pads on the end of this and use it to get my back. And then I always have a container to pour my tan into. I don't like to spray it onto the pad. I always pour a dip and then paper towels are good for buffing out. Um, that'll be on show day. So I start Thursday night with just this, no, that's the top coat, not that one. Just the overnight competition color base coat. So I do this one Thursday night and then I'll rinse it Friday morning and kind of go from there. Um, I also usually have a little bottle of the super dark. Um, I don't use this directly, but depending on how my tan takes tonight, I might mix this half and half with the um, base coat and do that just to get a little bit of a darker tan. And then of course for show day, I have the top coat here, which is more like a mousse, um, but that won't be until show day. Always make sure you pack in plastic bags for obvious reasons. And then also my show shine for show day, but that's again, not till show day. One other thing I forgot to mention, you also want to have your shiwi, this like a little funnel that you place between your legs to help you pee without getting pee on your legs. Because if you accidentally get a little dribble on you, it will most likely cause a run in your tan and you do not want that. So, little tip. 
for a show day. And just like I put black sheets on everything, I am going to remove everything white from this bathroom, except the shower curtain. I'm going to remove everything white and replace it with my black towels that I brought because I do not want to get charged for staining their towels. All right, we got our black towels, our music, we are ready to tan. Hello guys, I am one day out for my competition and I'm freaking out because I'm so freaking excited. So it is Friday obviously and oh no, I was about to brag on these nails to y'all but I might have to, anyway. Checked in with my coach this morning and things are looking fantastic. Um, everything looks really good. We're going to keep carbs the same. Uh, so I'm at 175 grams of carbs again today. Um, only because we were going to add a little more, but I am um, maybe going to get my period still. So we didn't want to like have me spilling over if I'm having a little extra water retention. So keeping carbs the same today. And then she gave me like my plan for tomorrow um, as far as food goes. And, um, I forgot where I was going with that, but things look really good. Um, I rinsed my first coat of my tan off this morning and I went ahead just a little bit ago and it's, I don't even know what time it is right now. It's a little afternoon. I think, um, I rinsed off, sorry, I rinsed off this morning and then I just put a second coat on, which is one I won't rinse. Um, and then tonight, depending on how this one looks in a couple of hours, I might mix the super dark. Uh, like I had mentioned earlier, like half and half super dark in the regular overnight tan. Um, and do another coat tonight and then see what the morning brings. So this morning I just went out um, to run and pick up a couple things for like my pump up backstage, some extra water, that kind of stuff um, from the Target that's like a little bit down the road. It's a little like, I don't know, half a mile or something. Um, Give me a nice little walk. It is a rest day for me, but I still wanted to get a little bit of movement in. Um, so I went and did that and then... I came back to the hotel and talked to my husband for a little bit on FaceTime and I'm just kind of, you know, chilling out, taking it easy. Um, but I wanted to show y'all my nails real quick. So I found these, oops, um, Dashing Divas. I think originally I found these at like a Target or something. And they're like Color Street, um, if y'all have heard of that before. So they just come like these little strips, they're all stuck together that you just peel off and stick on your fingernails. Um, I've been using these for a while now, but I've never found them before like this. So I didn't even realize this when I bought them. But these are like the two times volume and a velvety finish. And I got them at Ulta this time, I think. So they were a little more expensive. Honestly, you can find them at Marshalls all the time, but these were like perfect for my show day nails. Obviously, I got a little tan on my hands. Um, but I thought these were like so cute and perfect for show day. Um, so I just finished putting these on and hopefully they hold up well. If not, I have some backup plan uh, for that. But anyway, um, ooh, I think I just zoomed in on myself. Anyway, um, I am about to eat me some lunch and then maybe practice posing for a little bit and then uh, probably just hang out and read for a little. I have a couple books I brought um, just to hang out and read for a little bit and then check-ins are this afternoon. My in-laws are on their way in um, so I might get to see them before check-ins depending on when they get here. If not this evening, I will spend some time with them and then tomorrow is show day. Open Bikini Class F, Catherine Fine.
All right, guys, show day is over. Um, I am so thrilled to have just gotten back on stage and to have the opportunity to do this and the ability and just honestly to, to say I did it. Like I won without even stepping on stage. Sorry, my battery's low apparently, I need to charge it. Um, but anyways, just like the hard work that I've put in both mentally and physically and all the things I've overcome to get here, I, I'm, and I just had a blast today. I met so many phenomenal women and other people at this competition. I had so many little fans, which was so cute. Um, and I'm just, I'm thrilled and I feel great. Um, I got first in my class, which it was just me. So, you know, but I, um, and the overall, they only award the over the overall winner. They don't do like, you know, first, second, whatever. They and in comparisons, they didn't move anyone. But I know I caught the judges' attention. There was a lot of like looking at me, pointing at me, that kind of stuff. So um, honestly, I think I probably was pretty close, uh, pretty close second. I I felt good up there, and that's what matters. Um, I did get feedback from one of the judges already. And he said, the first thing he told me was I look super nervous, which is so weird to me because this was the least nervous I've ever felt at a competition. Um, and in all the pictures that I've seen so far, I don't feel like I look nervous, so whatever. Um, but that was the first thing he told me. And then he told me just to grow my upper body just a hair, um, grow my glutes some and to fill out more. And that was pretty much it. So he said my, hair, my tan, and my makeup was perfect, which was a huge compliment because I do those all myself. Um, and I I just feel, I don't know, I feel so good. So I'm about to just relax for a few minutes, charge my phone up a little bit, sip on some coffee, change clothes, and go have dinner with my in-laws. Um, I've been craving salmon, so I am going to get salmon tonight. <laughs> We're gonna go to a true food um, in Pasadena, and then I'm gonna get some good sleep tonight and fly home tomorrow. What's up, guys? I just wanted to come on and finish out this video. Um, so I hopped on a call with my coach today. It is Monday, and we made a game plan for my season. So um, we're gonna take a couple of months to just go into maintenance, so bring down cardio a little bit, increase calories a little bit, nothing too much, um, and get my body in a good place where at any point I could do like an eight week prep and be ready to step on stage. I did let her know that I am ready to get super aggressive next time, so um, whatever we need to do, mentally I'm in a good spot to do so, still rocking the orange hands. Um, and so I think the plan is to like, Midsummer into May, early June, hop into another regional show and then hit the national circuit after that. Um, so I'm just super excited. I'm gonna get some time to, you know, have a couple untracked meals, go on some dates with my husband, enjoy time a little bit since I did prep through the holidays. And then, but most importantly, I just like want to conquer this reverse like perfectly. Um, I'm already doing so much better. Um, I haven't overdone it at all. Took another untracked day today and I'm gonna get right back on with my macros tomorrow. I'm meal prepped, everything's ready to go. So I'm just super duper excited um, and I can't wait to share more of my journey with you guys. I have some more exciting news to come. So stay tuned, I will have some more update. Have some more updates for y'all later. Thank you so much for watching this part of my journey though. I can't believe that I finally made it back to the stage. It has me even more motivated and ready to go. Um, so be sure to like this video if you liked it um, and subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notifications when I come out with my new videos and I will see you guys next time.